How are the two bedrooms in Sterling residences going to perform in time to come? Is this the right time to buy or sell? Hello everyone, I'm Vivian and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be talking about the two bedrooms in Sterling Residences. Just some basic info, Sterling Residences is a newly TOP condominium located near to Queenstown MRT. It consists of 1,259 units and out of this, there are 687 two-bedroom units which makes up to more than 50% of the unit mix. This is why it is very important for you to know to watch this video as it will give you clarity on your next move. So today, I'll be analysing the two bedrooms based on two factors. First, it will be the layout. Second, will be the pricing. The first factor I want to touch on is layout. There are three different unit types with eight floor plans for the two bedrooms here in Sterling Residences. First, we have the two bed one bath and they are C1, C2A, 2B and C3. Next, we have the two bedroom premium which is the two bed two bath. They are P1 which features the traditional layout and P2 which is the dumbbell layout. Lastly, we also have the two plus study which is S1 and S2. I would say in general, the layouts are pretty ideal even when it comes to the smaller two-bedroom units. So before I go into this, I just want to share with you that most developers who launch at that point in time do not provide a proper kitchen for the small unit types like the one and two bedrooms. And you will realize that the unit usually comes with a kitchenette along the walkway instead. This is why I have several gradings when it comes to the two bedrooms in new launches. The first choice will definitely be a proper and closable kitchen. Next will be a tuck-in kitchen, just like what we see. And last, a kitchenette along the walkway, which I have attached as an example here. This is why out of the 8 different floor plans we have seen, my top choice will be the S1 764 square feet 2 bed plus study. This layout is the only one that is enclosable and comes with a window in the kitchen. Two bedrooms tend to be the sweet spot in new launches as a starting point for couples looking to stay. And even in terms of investment, if you are looking to maximize your profits and not so much at the rental part, in the long run, the right layout do play a part when it comes to resale value. This brings me to the next factor which is price. Since TOP till today's point of filming, there have been 53 recorded transactions. Out of this, we can see that the S1764 square feet unit actually recorded the highest amount of profits ranging from $247,000 to over $350,000. In fact, even though bigger units tend to command a lower PSF as compared to smaller units due to size, we can see from the transactions here that many of the S1 unit types transacted at a higher PSF than the smaller units. This tells us one thing. There is a demand for better layout and buyers in this area do not mind paying a premium for it. With that being said, how are the prices for the two bedrooms going to behave from here? To determine this, we will have to look into the surrounding developments. This is a map of the condominiums near Queenstown MRT. Just right opposite, we have Queen's Peak and Commonwealth Towers. First, let's look at Commonwealth Towers which TOP in 2017. We can see that in general, prices went up since TOP. However, if we zoom into the specific unit types, mainly the two bedrooms, we can see that comparing the prices from two years ago versus now, prices have remained stable at an average of 1,008 to 1,009 PSF. However, if we look into the three bedrooms in Commonwealth Towers, prices have went from 1,007 to 1,008 initially, to $1,009 to close to $2,100 PSF now. Next, let's look at price behaviours for Queen's Peak which TOP in 2020 and is located right beside Commonwealth Towers. First, let's look at the overall prices which has increased since TOP till date. Next, let's also look at the prices of the two bedrooms. From the transactions, we can see that the prices are also hovering between $1,009 to $2,000 PSF till date. Zooming into the three bedrooms, the prices were between 1,700 to over 1,800 PSF. Today, the prices have increased to 1,009 to 2,100 dollars PSF recently. From these two case studies, we can see that the two bedrooms remain very stable in prices over the years, but the three bedrooms have seen a lot of growth in these few years. This shows that the demand in this area is still more towards the bigger units. 
To sum it up, I have two different advice depending if you are going to buy or sell. If you are an intending buyer of the two bedroom units, you do need to be very careful in terms of selecting a right unit to buy, especially knowing that prices are likely going to stay very stable for the next few years. Do pick a unit with a good layout which will be more competitive in the resale market. This can be done by studying the units down to the floor plans in Sterling Residences as well as the surrounding developments. If you are an owner holding this for investment, you do need to work out your rental income versus capital gain to decide if you want to hold on or to swap for a better property with similar rental. If you need more clarity in which steps to take, do contact me at my contact number below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.